Becoming America's Favorite Chef on Comedy Central's animated series, South Park. Our guest today is also a legendary Grammy and Oscar-winning musician, singer, author, composer, and actor. Please welcome the multi-talented Isaac Hayes. Isaac, it's great to have you with us today. Good morning, Cindy. Thank you very much. And I also have my learned friend, capable friend, Dr. Finn. Thank you. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Boy, uh, that was quite a list. Is there anything that you can't do? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> How did you first get your break in entertainment? Well, I got my break. Um, I wanted to be in entertainment. I got in the stack stable in Memphis, Tennessee, and it grew from there. You were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2002. That must have been just a fantastic experience. That was great, man. It was awesome. What was it like? Uh, It was, I I was, you know, I joined a a company of some other great entertainers, and I I felt felt really honored and special to be involved in that. Yes. Your good friend, Barry White, passed Mm -hmm. away from kidney failure. Yes, he did. And I know that his death played an important part in your having written a kidney-friendly cookbook. Tell me about it. It bothers me to see, see that happen to B.W. And it's, it's more personal to me because I lost a father and a grandfather. And uh, this cookbook is called Kidney Friendly Comfort Foods. It's, the cookbook is free. And uh, we have a website. It's called phosphorouscontrol.com. And uh, the, the, the uh, recipes in, in this cookbook is we have re- breakfast recipes. We also have uh, um, other recipes. And we also have um, desserts. Nice. So, uh, it, your it, favorite recipe? My favorite is friendly catfish. It's this the spicy catfish with my pan right now. Now, um, the African American community is really suffering from this disease, and Dr. Finn can give us more intake on, on, on the depth of it. Well, Cindy, uh, eight million Americans have some degree of chronic kidney disease. Many don't know it almost a half a million people on dialysis and it's for these people that have high phosphorus levels causes bone disease and heart disease and vascular disease it's for these people that Isaac's book is so important along with medication that we can take such as the new medication phosphorinol that acts as a sponge to absorb all the excess phosphorus in the stomach but the the recipes that Isaac is cooking right now this catfish is absolutely extraordinary if you were here there wouldn't be much left of it I I can imagine (laughs) Now, is, is having a, a kidney-friendly diet helpful whether you've got kidney disease or not? I mean, can anybody? I think you could say that if you have high blood pressure, as many, many, many people do, that this type of a kidney-free or fi- uh, friendly diet is important because yes. in addition to a low phosphorus, it has low sodium. That's but right. it doesn't taste bad, does it, Isaac? It doesn't taste bad at all. You, you, you notice me putting these spices on here? That's what brings everything together. And we got all kinds of spices. And, uh, and, and this, this fish, you know, um, tarragon is great on fish. And I got tarragon, tarragon in, in the salt, salt and the spices. So it's good. It sounds fantastic. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Isaac, how did you end up getting the part of chef on the TV series South Park? How did that come about? <laughs> well, uh, Matt and Trey, the producers and creators, they sought me out. And my agent called me and said, Isaac, I think I got a voiceover for you. I said, wow, Disney. No, no, no. It's thing for Comedy Central. So I relented, got involved in it, and I'm glad I did because it went through the roof and we served in our eighth year now. Now, were you at all concerned about the content of the show when you first read the script? Well, I was, but uh, I saw it was fun and everybody had fun, but I didn't have, have a problem with it. But let me steer you back to, to, to our website, phosphoruscontrol.com, isaachayes.com. I got a link to it, okay? Fantastic. Thank you so much, Cindy. That- now, you are an active promoter of literacy and education for children, yes, including it's establishing the Isaac Hayes Foundation. Exactly. I'd love to hear about that program. It's for children in the inner cities who, uh, I, saw, I saw they didn't know how to play, play instruments, real live instruments, so I'm, I'm encouraging kids to learn how to play live instruments and music. That would ensure that, that the art will continue. So that's why I, I started my foundation. I have uh, my foundation you know, in Africa, I have it all over this country, and I give money to kids that uh, for instruments. Wow. 